I'm Fiona Davis and I'm the Chief Officer for Argyle and Butte Health and Social Care Partnership. Thank you so much for coming on and listening to my vlog. Last year we launched our three year joint strategic plan and we are now one year into the plan and I'm delighted to share with you some of our achievements and some areas that we'll be looking to improve. In today's world for planning to be valuable and successful, it really does need to be everyone's business. So we also want to hear your voice to hear what matters to you, your family and your community. We want to achieve the best possible outcomes for everybody to improve and transform our services. To this end, we are holding events across Argyle and Butte where you can come and meet our planning team and senior managers and share your thoughts. We will schedule some events later in the year in our island and more rural settings as we work towards our island strategy. The Joint Strategic Plan sets out the vision and delivery of high quality person-centred health and social care services and is fundamental to achieving our vision. We can only deliver this vision if we have a sustainable and diverse health and social care market that is equipped to deliver personalised, flexible and innovative services across our local communities. The plan is aspirational and we're keeping the four key priority areas at the forefront of every area of service. There are also some areas which are transformational in the way services are delivered and work in a joined up way so that the person is at the centre, is empowered and can access the service or support needed at the time. I'm delighted to see that so many of the objectives set for 22-23 are in the green zone, meaning they are completed. Some of the key highlights are, we have set up seven locality care experience children and young people participation forums to support the implementation of the promise. We have completed the Justice Social Work Plan. The child poverty work is continuing as per the Child Poverty Action Group plan and lots of young people are helping us with this. Every new member of staff is inducted and trained in child protection. The safe and together model for those experiencing domestic abuse has been rolled out. There is a new lead in adult protection who is undertaking whole system approach to protecting more people. The joint health improvement plan is in place and the Living Well strategy is being implemented. The new Right Time, Right Care group has been set up to look at moving care into the community. We have established smarter commissioning and mobile teams in care at home. The care home review has been undertaken and actions are progressing. Stage one of the review and redesign of learning disability day services has taken place and we are increasing the use of telecare and new accommodation to bring people back to our local area. The primary care mental health team is now working in a way that's aligned to our GP surgeries. Scoping of mobile dental services is underway. Carers in Argyll and Butte are being looked after by all of our carer centres and the Young Carer app has been developed. We've worked with the Isle of Cole in a collaborative way to look at different ways of providing health and social care. And we've nearly completed a centralised booking project which will help those on waiting lists to cluster their appointments. And finally, we have a co-production plan in place with Live Argyle, the Third Sector Interface and Macmillan as part of our prevention group which will be linking in with every community in 2023 to work with you on producing locally based services. This year, we're looking forward to the new children and young people plan being published. As are we looking forward to the community justice and equally safe implementation plan for women and children who were experiencing domestic abuse and our older people strategy. I'm delighted with all of this progress, but I know we still have a lot of work to do. But with your help and suggestions, I know we will get there and make Argyle and Butte a place where we all live healthier, longer lives.